This is a banana. And this is a plantain, which is also technically a type of banana, but it's probably really different from the kind that you've been eating. These two fruits look so similar that if they were side by side at a supermarket, and they often are, you might just confuse them. Now here in America, these types of bananas are super well known, but plantains on the other hand, they might just give you pause. In today's video, I'm going to share five key points about these two types of bananas. And by the end of the video, you'll know how they differ, how to use them, and why. Let's get bananas. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook. And today we are talking about bananas, particularly these, commonly just called bananas, and these plantains, which uh, like I said, are technically a type of banana, but through the rest of this video, just for less confusion, I'm gonna to refer to them as plantains. Now the first key point will be regionality. Here in America, these types of bananas dominate. They are sweet and uh, they are common just about everywhere, from your supermarket to the airport. We use them in everything from breakfast cereal to uh, desserts like banana split. Plantains, however, are far more popular in uh, Latin countries and the Caribbean. Uh, although they can be found here in America. Uh, I find mine at Latin supermarkets. Now, despite their uh, popularity in uh, Latin countries, Cuba, other parts of the Caribbean, historians believe that plantains actually originated in Asia in the 1500s, wound their way through Africa, and then got where they are today. Nowadays, both bananas and plantains are pretty easy to find, and we actually import both from uh, countries with tropical climates where they grow really well. Point number two we're going to talk about is selecting and storing uh, bananas and plantains. And now both of these have a similar skin that actually turns from green to black. But with bananas, that happens far more quickly. You know, in about a, just a number of days, it can go from uh, just a almost a green to black and, and it, the inside gets really kind of mushy. Plantains, however, these take far longer to ripen. In fact, uh, they can go a week and the color will barely change. This means that uh, plantains can actually last quite a bit longer on your shelf, whereas a uh, banana might turn a little overripe sooner. Uh, I should also mention that the uh, skin of plantains are quite a bit thicker than that of a banana. Now, of course, uh, as with a banana, if you need a plantain to ripen quicker, uh, you can put them in a uh, paper bag and uh, kind of seal that up and that will help them ripen quicker. Uh, conversely, if you want to uh, keep the ripening process from happening, you can put them in the refrigerator. Uh, now note that when you do that, the skins will turn black, but the insides will be uh, ripening less quickly. When you're shopping for plantains at the store, you might see them in a variety of different stages of ripeness, and that's a good thing, because if you need a plantain that is a little more on the riper side, you will want to look for one with a darker skin. That means you just won't have to be waiting days and days for it to ripen to the stage that you want. Point number three about bananas and plantains is the texture of the fruit. Now, uh, bananas, as you probably know, these are pretty light, they're pretty creamy, but uh, plantains, however, these are denser and starchier. Now, what that means is that these plantains actually hold up really well to cooking, which is the next point. And point number four is the way we use and or cook with these types of bananas. Now with just a, a standard sweet banana like this, you know, most of us are used to just kind of peeling it open, taking a bite, and it's great, it's sweet. Plantains, however, these are really meant to be cooked. If you're buying a plantain, you're probably gonna be baking it, sauteing it, or frying it. I mean, I, I guess you, could eat one of these raw. I just don't think it would taste very good. Let's give it a try. And you'll notice 
I'm not just peeling this thing. Uh, this has a really thick skin, so you're probably gonna be using a knife. And uh, I gotta warn you, I don't, I don't think I've ever eaten a plantain raw. And you can see it just doesn't even really peel like a, like a regular banana. This thing is really thick and really sturdy. Mm. No, not really good. And that brings us to point number five, taste. Now, uh, as you might have guessed by now, uh, plantains being kind of the sturdier fruit with uh, thicker skin, well, they're also more flavorful. They are not sweet like a banana, but they can be. So what happens is they get sweet when they get ripe and then when you cook them. That's when the real magic happens with these. What happens, it, just, just like anything else when we cook, when we apply heat to food, it changes that food on a molecular level. And plantains, oh, they are magic when they're cooked. One of my favorite things to do with them is make what I call caramelized plantain bites, where I saute them in some butter, I finish them with a little bit of sugar. They are absolutely fantastic. And guess what? Well. I've got some plantains. I just need to let them ripen a little bit more. And next week we will make caramelized plantain bites. They are absolutely delicious. So for now, I hope this primer uh, helps you tell the difference between a banana and a plantain. And you know, maybe you've just always wondered about these things if you've seen them in the store. Now you know. And if you do have a store near you with them, hey, buy a few. They're gonna last days possibly weeks, depending on the stage that you get them in. And tune in next week when we make caramelized plantain bites. I cannot wait to share that recipe with you. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. Until next time, I hope that you want to cook.